Back down on the reef, we find the most common of the puffer fish family, the black spotted puffer. At Black Rock, these fish can often be seen just resting on the bottom, or in this case, amongst the branches of a sea fan. This larger species is a map puffer. Like parrotfish, puffer's teeth are fused together to form a very strong beak. This is a blue spotted puffer, although this particular individual is lacking the characteristic blue coloration around the face. Like other puffer fish, if it feels greatly threatened, it will swallow water to inflate its body into a ball in order to appear more intimidating. The largest of all puffer fish is the starry puffer. They are fairly unfazed by the close attentions of divers. The yellow boxfish's body is covered with hexagonal bony plates fused together into a rigid carapace for protection. This fish releases toxins if stressed, and the bright coloration serves as a warning to would-be predators. Nevertheless, this juvenile gets a nip from an aggressive damselfish and retreats to the shelter of the reef. As the yellow boxfish matures, its bright yellow coloration darkens and fades, and it gains more white spots amongst the black ones. Large adults take on an altogether more purple hue. The male white-spotted boxfish has a very distinct coloration. The female of the species is a uniform black with white spots. Kaulax Boonsung wreck, we find a tiny horn-nosed boxfish. In adulthood, the species develops a prominent bump on its snout. The porcupine fish is covered with spines, which normally lie flat against its body. When under threat, they can inflate their bodies with water, like pufferfish. When doing so, the spines point straight out as a defence. This spot fin porcupine fish has broken some of its spines, presumably by reversing out of a hole. The damaged spines will soon grow back. As can be seen from this black blotched porcupine fish, their eyes are quite vulnerable to attack or self-inflicted damage and it's quite common to see individuals that have been blinded in one eye. Its diet includes bivalve mollusks and the porcupine fish has a strong bite when exploring the reef for such food. The smaller long spine porcupine fish is occasionally seen foraging on the seabed surrounding the reef. Scrawled file fish, sometimes referred to as leather jackets, are characterized by a long snout and tail fin.